A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. The Word of the Lord. On this day, January 18th, is a little bit different than our usual saints' days. We're not recognizing Saint Peter on this day. We'll, we'll do that in June on the 29th, that's Saint Peter and Paul's day. Today, what we're recognizing is what's called the Confession of Saint Peter. And it's this moment where Jesus asks the disciples who he is, and Peter is the first one to go out and loudly proclaim to everyone, you are the Messiah. You're the one that we've been waiting for. The reason I think we recognize this day as the confession of St. Peter rather than St. Peter himself is because we're not celebrating who Peter is or, or any special abilities that he had. He wasn't a better person than the other disciples. In fact, the Gospels make it quite clear that he's a rather flawed person, just like all of us. He, he gets it wrong, even in his belief that Jesus is the Messiah. The passage right after this one is the one where, where Jesus, if you remember, then has to say to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. And Peter is the one who forsakes Jesus three times at his time of the crucifixion, at, at his darkest hour. But Peter is also the same one who had such a belief, such a belief in the power of Christ that he never gave up. He never stopped trying. And that when Jesus ascended and was no longer there on a daily basis with him, Peter didn't let that deter him from going out into the world and continuing to widely share the story of the Messiah and the promise of eternal life to all who believe in him. The call to love God and to love our neighbor. Even at the moment of Peter's own martyrdom, he never gave up, not trying to be better than anyone else, but, but trying to use what he knew about God, that God loved him so much that he came into the world to dwell with him as Jesus, that he let that be his guide for the rest of his life. What would that be like for us to confess our own faith? To go out and to bravely, like Peter did in this moment, bravely proclaim what we believe God's calling us to do, even when others around us maybe aren't ready to say it yet. To bravely go out and proclaim what we believe God is calling us to do, even when we know others around us might not agree. To go out and bra bravely proclaim what God has called us to do, even though we know sometimes it might cost us even though we know sometimes we might get hurt. But to not let it deter us from seeing that God is doing something truly special in this world and that we are called to play a part in it. That is the confession of St. Peter. Not that he was better than anybody else, but that he saw that something special was happening and he, he called it out and he would not be dissuaded from playing a role in it. And so on this day, we recognize the confession of St. Peter. We say thanks be to God for him taking those first brave steps 
leading us by example to the brave steps that we're called to next. Amen.